Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of The Penalty Box with your host, Kalal Oakman. Tonight, we have a show for you. In previous episodes, we've done interviews. We've done player interviews, GM interviews with VHL members. Tonight, for the first time on The Penalty Box, we have AHL captain of the Providence Bruins, Knights of God, with a phone interview. We're having trouble with the satellite feed right now, so we had to go low-tech. But then again, this is the show for low tech. Also, tonight we have late breaking news coming from the VHL and night number two of the new VHL season. That late breaking news is this the Islanders and Flames game has just been concluded. The game was 2 2 tied late in the third period when a questionable goal was scored by the Islanders. It went to review. It went all the way upstairs to the top of the VHL in Toronto, and they reviewed the goal. It was a no goal. They went to overtime. This game was hard-paced. I mean, it was fast-paced, hard-hitting, a quality game. It was one of the best games so far this year. But the Islanders were triumphant in overtime with a final score of 3-2. to two. You would not believe it. I saw it on the VHL Network. That's right. Check out the VHL Network, you caveman. What the heck are you doing? More on that in a moment. Welcome back to the Penalty Box, and now time for the two-minute minor with Kalal Oakman. Tonight's two-minute minor segment, I want to talk a little bit about name changes. Oh, excuse me, late-breaking news. It seems that Matty P has just changed his name again. And again. Good go- And again. Will you stop changing your damn name? Thank you. Now, with that being said, I do have to say this. Uh, As far as the way the league is going right now and the games being played, this is the best hockey I have seen in a long, long time. I mean, this is perfect. You got the VHL Network. You got this show, the Penalty Box. You got uh, Frank and BP doing the radio show. You got a new show coming up Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. This is a great time to be a hockey fan. The hockey is awesome on the ice. It's great to watch and follow off the ice. And on top of that, if anybody, fans... Players, owners, GMs, corporate, anybody wants to be on the penalty box, all you have to do is send me a private message. Contact me through the link I'm about to show on the bottom of your screen right there. And you can be here on the penalty box with yours truly. And that is the two-minute minor. Welcome back to the Penalty Box, folks. Now for that exclusive interview with the Providence Bruins captain, Knights of God. Knights, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Excellent. Welcome to the Penalty Box. How are you doing this evening? Oh, thank you. I'm doing good. Doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing wonderful. Penalty Box has been uh, picked up for a couple more episodes, so uh, everything's going great here. Great. That's awesome. So, Knights, you're with the Providence Bruins. Uh, you're the captain of the team. How are things going in the uh, AHL at the moment? I'm uh, doing great. You know, this is my first time being, you know, a team uh, captain on a team, you know, and trying to help and learn all these, these guys out, you know, help them out, and, you know, maybe be future NHL stars. You know, I'm just, well, I'm just doing my job trying to, you know, I'm not going to be a lenient team, you know. I'm trying to be, you know, kind of a tough, kind of a fun guy, you know, and when, you know, get the puck drops. You know, it's game time. It's no, no more, you know, it's serious hockey. So. Exactly. Uh, All right. So, with the Bruins organization and you being in the AHL, are things running smoothly between you and the GMs and the uh, the owner? Oh, definitely, definitely. I have to give a shout-out to my two assistants, FSU Bull and Eagles fan. They really stepped up. Eagles fan stepped up to me and said he would take the job and help me out. You know, and when I'm not around and stuff, and he's doing a great, great job, you know. And Ricochet, awesome owner. Probably one of the best owners I've been with. I've been in the league about, uh, this is my second year now, and Ricochet is doing his job. He's helping us out, you know. When we're having some roster problems, but I'm sure it's going to get sorted out soon, so. Excellent, excellent. I'm glad things are going well in the AHL and within your organization. Uh, speaking of the AHL, I understand preseason's currently going on, right? Yes, yes it is. 
Okay. Uh, is preseason running smoothly on the AHL front? Uh, it's, yeah, it is. Uh, we get to take our own uh, games right now for the preseason. We're having scrimmages every night. We've had at least three or four. So it's running smoothly and stuff. And um, the players, you know, my team is, you know, it's really stepping up and playing hockey. I mean, you know, at first, you know, we were all playing, you know, playing around. But now, we, you know, it's the best step in and told them, you know, what we need to do and stuff. It's going smoothly. Uh, I think we have a great chance this year of maybe making the Calder Cup. Excellent, excellent. I'm glad to hear that, and I hope you guys do make the, a splash in the playoffs and perhaps a Calder Cup. Uh, speaking of uh, the, the AHL again, uh, in previous seasons, the VHL has tried to have an AHL, and due to lack of inactivity or lack of, of you know a, a player pool, it was it hasn't been quite successful. Do you see any problems like that happening this year? No, I, and I know, definitely know what you're talking about. You know, the well, first season I was. They really didn't have much, you know, knowing about the AHL. But this um, this year, you know, and with my second year back, it's it's great. It's it's awesome to have the AHL, you know, in the league. You know, it's, it's the same thing as having the NHL. You know, for the VHL, it's, it's perfect. You know, there's nothing's going on right now besides, you know, some roster problems other than that. But I'm sure that's going to get fixed before Sunday. You know, and other things. You know, it's. <clears throat> We're just trying to get everything sorted out and stuff with goalie problems and defense. That's where we're hurting right now, but other than that, no problems. Well, I hope you get those situations solved, and I hope everything works well for you. Uh, uh, final question before I let you go here. I know you're, you're quite busy with the uh, Bruins organization. Um, now, in the VHL, there has been some goons. Uh, do you have any goons in the AHL or aspiring to be goons, so to speak? And if so... Yes, definitely. You, uh, my... My assistant, he's been playing D for me. He used to be a forward, but he's stepped back since we need some D man. I'm seeing Eagles fan as being one of the goons. And um, also, um, uh, Ronin, D, John, he's, he's a great D back there. They know how to play the puck well and everything. So. Well, excellent. Uh, the other part of that question I wanted to ask you is uh, in your opinion, who do you think is the biggest goon in the VHL? The biggest gun's got to be Dark Forsberg. Everyone knows him. He's always, you know, he's playing the game. He's, you know, doing a lot of stuff for the VHL. And, you know, when you meet him, he's a great guy. Great guy to talk to and everything like that. So, and if you need to have any questions, go to him. He'll help you out. Well, excellent. I'm glad uh, things are going well with you in Providence. And I'm glad things are looking up. And I wish you the best of luck. Thanks for appearing on the penalty box. Thank you, and I look Thank forward. You for having me. Hey, no problem. Thank you, and uh, I look forward to seeing more about you, and hopefully see you up in the NHL. Definitely, looking forward to it. All right, Knights of God. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll be back after this quick break. The Pelly Box's phone interview segment is sponsored by Cherry Bombs, the official drink of goons everywhere. Cherry Bomb, have one tonight. And with that. Hockey fans, this episode of the Penalty Box is concluded. Stay tuned for further episodes when we do get that interview with the team of the Tiny. Unfortunately, we're still having issues. Guys, it's hard to get controlled. Until then, I'll see you at Center Ice when the puck drops. Good night.